Hello everyone, I'm Tuko, and welcome back to another episode here on the One Ring server with the LTR mod uh, in our Umbar faction. So, lately I haven't been doing a ton of building. I've mainly been grinding uh, alignment for Nierhrad, and as you can see if you look above, uh, my Nierhrad alignment is finally at Warrior. We just have to get to it. I forget what it is for claiming your own faction, because I'd like to claim, you know, Umbar, of course, and, you know, <laughs> that'd be quite fun. But uh, I do need some more alignment in order to do that. I don't remember what it was. I know it's in the thousands, though. I'm only around 300 alignment right now, I think. Pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, it's not a lot so far. But um, trying to get that up at the moment. Now, also, we have this here in the middle of town. And, actually, before I continue the video, I forgot to turn my render distance down. There we go. Now things should load a little bit easier. We have some rum in here. And some water. Drought drink, water to wash. Sorry for side effects. Um, I'm not sure. Will water get rid of the side effects of nausea? <laughs> because, I mean, this rum, that's that's quite alcoholic. Uh, I'm wondering. Oh, we do have cows around. You know what? We do have cows. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab some iron or grab a bucket real quick. Because we should have some milk in here or at least a bucket, I think. Let me see here. We got weapons, tools, or is there anything back here? Yeah, buckets. Okay, so just grab a bucket real quick. Just grab a quick bucket. And um, I guess get some milk from a cow because I do believe we got some. Um, kind of for like more decoration purposes. <laughs> Over here, I believe it's behind the bakery. Uh, we have some. Pretty sure. Uh, so let's quickly grab some and try out this rum. Uh, there is some, or there is an ox in here, so that'll be good. There we go. All right, so let's try out this crazily alcoholic drink. Um, woo! Nausea, and it's a poison drink, too. <laughs> I thought so. I thought it'd be poisoned. That That's... Well, actually, no, I didn't know it was poisoned, but that's pretty crazy. That's a crazy drink. All right, cool. Sorry for the side effects. Yeah, that's all right. It's, it's a good drink. Definitely a good drink. I forgot that you can poison uh, barrels using... I forget what it is. I think you get poison. You can get like poison vials from, um, I believe, spiders, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure you can poison barrels using that. So I think that was a <laughs> poison drink. But that was, that was quite toxic, I got to admit. <laughs> I'm glad I had the milk to get rid of that poison. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Can the poison kill you? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me that. Um, if poison, If poison drinks can kill you or not. I'm not sure if they can. They might be able to, but anyway, uh, <laughs> now we'll continue with what this episode, uh, what this episode is supposed to be like, in which we basically are going to be building um, more of the docks, and we have a ton of cedar wood to work with because everyone's been clearing out trees like nobody's business, and it's absolutely wonderful uh, because we do need a lot of wood for this project. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making the uh, docks for this area over here now We could either do this two ways we could do like a bunch of straight lines You know going out and then in and up this way and then we can stick it out a little bit and up or Or what we can do is do a bit of more organic uh, way of building this uh, building this dock area and having a bunch of I guess diagonals Kind of zigzagging a little bit, I guess, with some straight areas. And honestly, I think I'll try that one out first and see how that uh, see how that works. Uh, we are going to need quite a few slabs for this. I'm not sure how many palm slabs I've got. Um, obviously not enough. Oh, wait, no, I do have palm, palm ones, so we should be fine. All right, cool. Uh, we just got to grab, ah, oh, there we are, crafting bench. Wonderful. Uh, and we got to make ourselves uh, quite a few planks here. Uh, well, not planks, but slabs in order for this uh, construction. Get rid of the barren dirt. Don't need that. Thank you very much. And we'll grab ourselves some palm wood. And, of course, turn that into a bunch of slabs. Get rid of you and turn you into slabs. Cool. And we'll grab this. I guess we'll put our bow in there. And palm wood. Or not palm wood, but cedar wood beams for, of course, the, I guess the actual beams in the area. Now, how we're actually going to make this, I'm not quite certain how far out we want this to be, or even if we want to tie it in with this. 
I mean, we can, but I'm not quite certain how that'll look. All right, so first things first, let's see how wide our um, thing was over here, our, our dock. Um, it's a five wide one. It's pretty small. It's a pretty small area. Um, hmm. I don't really want to be dealing with something so small. I kind of want to make it a little bit bigger uh, for, I guess, more, I guess, business, <laughs> if you will. Um, so, actually, I do have an Unbar City. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, so, let me... Um, <laughs> I guess I'll give that to you just a moment. Um, I do have one actually. Yeah, I got one. And we might as well share it right now. So it's this one right here. We got a little town um, right there. And let's see here. Uh, how do I share it again? Ah, here we are. Oh, what's our what's our fellowship's name? Um, I forget. <laughs> I think it's just Umbar, but you gotta. It, what, what, what is it? Um, the Pirates of Umbar. That's the name of the faction. Okay. Then let's go to the map and we shall share it to uh, the Pirates of Umbar. And hopefully that works out. Share with Fellowship. Cool. All right. It should be there then. <laughs> yeah, it should. I shared it. <laughs> Uh, I shared it and it should be there um, for everyone to see. So uh, definitely make use of that town there. Now, back to our construction of this area. I'm trying to think how we're going to actually connect this up with everything. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really don't know how we're going to connect this up to everything. So let's just ignore that area for right now. And we'll just start with uh i suppose this area out here first and foremost well i probably should devise a way to connect all this up hmm well then i suppose what we'll do okay so this is its own separate thing right it's, its own separate thing and then i guess what we can do is i mean we we can obviously come back and fix it all later but let's first start with attaching this all together just just cuz um well no, that, that really doesn't look good we'll have to i'm not quite certain how we're exactly going to want uh we're going to want to have this so hmm this definitely requires a lot of thinking because i don't really know how how we want this i know we want this to be like a sewer area maybe like hideout in case of like you know it's basically last resort in a siege or whatever maybe i don't know um, but we want, we want, I believe the, the docks to actually come along this whole area. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure, except I think this area here where the brown wool is, is going to be where the palace is. Like we're going to have a grand palace and whatnot. And I think pretty sure that's where it's going to go. Wow. They've cleared quite a, quite a lot of the trees out. That's pretty good. i I haven't seen any of that, um, so that's pretty good. Uh, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the way we're going to want to do this is just um, pretty much ignore this area for the most part and just kind of go for a straight line here. And we're going to have it seven, I think seven wide should be pretty good. So let's just place in these here. Um, and we'll just connect this up like so. So one, two, three, four, five. So do we want it five out? I think five out would be pretty good. I mean, what, what's it over here? I do, I do want to make everything pretty. I mean, this, this is supposed to be, you know, just kind of rain shackled, thrown together sort of place. But I do kind of want to see how wide this is. So this is um, nine. Okay, so that's nine. Over here will be seven. I think that should be fine then. Seven wide. I'm just hoping that it's big enough, you know? I don't want anything too small. But I think seven will do, uh, to be honest. So let's go seven. I probably will put like a cover over this for some more like warehouses and stuff like that. Uh, but it should end up looking pretty fine, to be honest. Now, 
I think what we should do first and foremost is just give a, get a rough outline of this um, of this place. Now, I'm not sure what frequency we want to place those beams in, but for now we'll just go with a ooh, no 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 that's not right. Uh, but for now we will just go with just this outline, and it should end up looking all right uh, if we do that. So we'll just kind of come out here and go all the way till it starts to curve. And then we'll put like a diagonal sort of piece of the um, docks there and should end up looking pretty fine. Um, again, we do still need to put like a cover over it and all that, but uh, it should, it should be all right. So let's see here. So we're coming over here, diagonals right there. And okay, so that's looking pretty good. One more and then we can come over. That's not right. Get rid of that there we want nice and thin all right then so we come over here and we can go one more I think we can go one more and then actually we probably go a few more out this way um, just to about there and then I think we have to start uh, doing this basically and I want it yeah I don't want it completely organic looking because I mean someone is going to be building this you know uh, someone would have built this and I don't think they just you know beams are beams are straight so it's either diagonal or or straight. So I think we should just stick with like a diagonal all the way that way, I think would probably be wise. Um, I might, let me look. I might have a sharpness book. Um, yeah, let me look real quick. I gotta go home and uh, check it out. Well, what I mean home, I mean back to, back to Kono's Trash, um, my Dwarven build ever so quickly because I still have everything stored there. Honestly, I probably won't move anything, or I won't move much over here. You know, once we have the palace completed, I might move some stuff in there, maybe, like some suits of armor and whatnot, but honestly, I think I'll keep most everything over here, because it's just a nice, convenient storage area, to be honest. Uh, but let me see here. Sharpness books. I got protection. I got a sharpness one. Uh, okay, I got a few sharpnesses. Okay, so let's get rid of this real quick. I don't really need any of that or that. Um, we need sharpness and two more sharpnesses. That's pretty good. Uh, do I have any others? I should have some. There's another sharpness. And we'll combine those. Nice. Um, ooh, sharpness three. There we go. That's better. Um, what do I not need? <laughs> uh, shoot, I don't know what I don't need. I kind of need everything here. Actually, let's throw some stuff into our building pouch because uh, we might as well. So let's uh, quickly open this up, throw some of the um, wood in here, because I mean, I don't need all of it uh, at the moment. And we'll grab that back and throw that in there. And that's all full, nice. And any more sharpness books we got lying around. There's another sharpness one. And I think that's all it. All right, so let's TP, or actually no. Uh, I think he's at, he should be at the, um, yeah, at the town, back back home. So we'll quickly travel back there, give him his sharpness books. Uh, hopefully it's enough for him. I'm pretty sure you could make a um, sharpness four book out of these, I believe. Combine all the sharpness ones, make a sharpness three, combine the two sharpness threes. Uh, where is he? Where are you, town of Um, South? East? I want to say, so probably where the, where we've got the raid kind of, <laughs> the raid town, I suppose, all of our encampments. Uh, so we'll run over there real quick and hand them these and get back to the, um, back to the, um, I guess, I'm having a <laughs> blank here. The docks, good grief. The docks, we'll get back to the docks after this. Um, where are you? Uh, now you're, what? West? You're west, southwest. I, I can't, I can't figure out the directions here. Where are you? Um, I think he's off this way. I believe. Right. Now he's south. Where are you? I think I want to say he's over by the prison. Oh, there he is. Nice. Come here. I got your sharpness books. He's killing the chickens. Okay, here. Here's all my sharpness books. I don't really use them much because I don't do much enchanting, but there's sharpness for you. 
Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I mean, I got quite a few levels right now, which I could probably use in making a whole bunch of enchantment books, but yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but we'll get back to this. So, what kind of frequency do we want the um, the beams in place? I'm kind of thinking here. Uh, we could have a square and then go seven by seven, or it could go a bit wider and do like a, a rectangle and almost do a nine by seven. Honestly, I'm kind of partial to that one. So let's see here: one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I want to say this right here, just to see. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four. It's hard to see <laughs> with these really good textures that blend together well. So we got one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. We want to go on ten, I believe. Uh, I believe we want to go at 10. Uh, and that should end up looking pretty fine. All right, so let's get rid of these here. Now, it's a little bit bigger than 9. Uh, it's actually going to be like 11 wide, but, you know, that's that should be fine. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. So let's get rid of this. And we got to, of course, place the beams all the way to the bottom um, for it to look <laughs> proper. I mean, we don't just want a floating there unless we are actually making a floating dock, which... I mean, that's kind of like a temporary thing, not really anything permanent, uh, you know, in wartime and whatnot. But uh, we'll continue on making this wonderful looking um, dock here. And, of course, we'll try and extend it out that way as far as we can. I don't really know, like I said, how far they all kind of were thinking it to go. I mean, I kind of imagine it being this entire stretch of land, to be honest, all of it just being flat out docks uh, would honestly look pretty fine in my opinion. But of course, that's just my opinion. It, it might might not look the greatest, but uh, you know, if we were kind of to like interconnect it with the, um, I guess the palace, it probably looked pretty good. Uh, that way, we have like you know warships there and whatnot. How's the building going? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Anyway, uh, let's continue on here, placing the outline for this, and then we'll fill it in, of course with um, all of the cedar planks, or cedar slabs, and it should end up looking pretty fine. Now we might want to kind of fill this in, this little area in a little bit with some dirt, possibly later on, um, because, you know, we don't really want that big of a gap there, I don't, I don't think we want that. So we'll probably get rid of that, but once we come over here, we're going to have to kind of, um, I don't really want to mine this out, but, I mean, we kind of got to do some train editing here real quick uh with this so let's see here we come across like so and i'm gonna need some more slabs and i believe i've got some in my inventory yep i do nice uh we don't have to go all the way back and make some but it looks like this will be snug right up against the hill which is what i wanted i wanted this to be very very close to uh the terrain here and it looks like that's just that's just what's going to happen which is nice I really wanted it close knit here. That looks pretty good. Um, again, we might want some train editing, um, but not at the moment. We'll do that, of course, later on. So let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I'll place one. Oh no, not not there. Uh, but right here, uh, just coming up like so. Get rid of this here because it's it's not helping anyone there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Um, actually, let's uh, kind of connect this area up a little bit with the palm slabs, palm wood slabs. Uh, just make everything look perhaps a little bit neater um, and almost look as if it's kind of like supports. And we'll place in the beams there and we'll get up back onto our docks here. Nice. And I believe we should probably do the same thing on the other one over there. So let's quickly uh, fix this one up to make it look similar to the other ones. Um, and it should be looking pretty fine. Now, I am just putting uh, these slabs on top of here right now just because this is just like a little dock area. Again, I might, I might change that, put a building on top. Maybe even like, um, I, I mean, I really don't know. We could put like cranes on top. Perhaps, I mean, I don't really know. 
Uh, we already have the Docs Masters over there. We got like a repair, you know, place over there. I mean, that's still got to get finished. So I still got to put a roof on it. But then it should be done uh, once I finish with the roof. But uh, we still do have... I mean, we've got quite a few buildings done. I mean, like I said, we still have to add the palace. Uh, barracks are complete. Barracks are all done. Um, I mean, what else is there to do? Barracks are done. Tavern's done. We even have like a logging camp. We have, oh, we need we need mines most likely. Well, I mean, we don't need mines. I mean, we're, you know, we're pirates with pillage and plunder and whatnot. It's great. But um, we might need some. We might need at least like a little mine. And honestly, we could probably put it right over there, to be honest. Um, you know, just build kind of like a crane that takes miners down or something like that. You know, a proper mine shaft. I mean, we could do that. Or like I said, we could just get all of our stuff from uh, raiding and whatnot, which honestly isn't too bad. Now, I'm wondering about this, whether it should just be... I'm thinking it should just be one. So we'll probably actually get rid of these here. That way it's a little bit more... How should I put it? It's a little bit more um, of a thinner kind of line. That way it kind of um, goes with this here because this is just, you know, the one thing. Uh, and so it might look a little bit better that way. And honestly, I kind of like it like that. Okay, so this is starting to look pretty good. We should probably fill in the center area, of course, with our uh, cedar slabs here. Now it's probably going to take a little bit of time. So um, we might want to just do something else for the meantime and I can finish this later and fill it all in and honestly I think that is probably what I'm gonna do well then everyone I finished filling it in uh, all the cedar slabs but what I also did was I added like um I guess a kind of backbone or kind of an outline for the rest of this structure now I'm not quite sure how high I want this go how many stories um, I'm thinking just one, if that, I'm thinking this is just going to be a roof, um, you know, no storage up there, you know, kind of like these ones that they aren't just, you know, these massive things. I might add one layer of storage, perhaps, um, but to be honest, I think I'm just going to add a roof to this thing um, and call it good. And it's just going to extend all the way this way um, and down that way diagonally. And also what I'm going to do with this, uh, with this area is what I think I'm going to be doing is we are going to add almost like, I guess kind of like a sandstone barrier, if you will, uh, for the back of this, not, not like this area over here. Um, you know, maybe actually a little bit over here, but mainly for where it is up against the hill, because I don't think about it. You get some torrential rains down here in kind of the tropical area. You'll get a lot of erosion and eventually you just erode onto your, you know, wood here. And, you know, eventually this, it's just going to be like out to here. Uh, so we're going to add some barriers to this thing probably next time. Um, and with that, it should end up starting to look pretty good. You know, we'll add some sandstone here. We'll add like a um, reed roof with some wood outlining for it to keep it all in place. And like I said, we might actually extend this hill out. That way we have more room to work with, uh, perhaps. You know, we'll see. And I might not just add a roof. I might add a layer to this, but... To be honest, it might look better just to add the roof, uh, you know, because we already have some pretty large structures on that side. I kind of just want, you know, a simple roof over here, add some, you know, details and whatnot. And also, I was kind of thinking maybe we should have, well, actually, never mind. <clears throat> I was, I was thinking that if we had enough room, we could also add like another dock kind of jutting out that way. But I mean, it's pretty close to that, that ship there. I mean, we could probably add some like docks sticking out like over here maybe and down that way but i don't really know and i'm, I'm going to stop here because of course you know there's the brown wool and i think we're going to put the palace here so i don't exactly want to build that far over there uh but i do like this i like adding this um this little dock here and of course we do need a way of getting up here so we could either go for stairs but to be honest i think i'm just going to go for some slabs uh just to get up and down here pretty easily that way it's like a nice little ramp for carts to go up and down you know it makes it easier than stairs you know a lot easier but anyway guys i think that's going to do it for this episode of the um the one ring server uh in our umbar faction and i hope you guys enjoy this episode if you did please be sure to hit that like button as always i'm tuco god bless and i'll see you guys next time